Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about another card coming in from Sam, that being an Easy A third form Frieza. Uh, so let's go ahead and just go straight into it. Shout out to Sam, by the way, for sending me these custom cards. He sent me a bunch of custom cards at the beginning of the year. We're going to be getting through all of them, of course. So go ahead and send me custom cards at bhdevcustomcards at gmail.com so I can read your custom card in the future while I'm getting all these older custom cards out the way. Trust me, I'm going to catch up to the newer custom cards that you guys sent to me because I am making great pacing when it comes to reading all these custom cards so sam says if this was his easy a i would be happy and i think the rest of the community would be too enjoy smiley face of course of course I'm enjoy. and his stats are as shown below if you guys see a big ugly blur box i'm sorry the his uh what he says for the message is probably going to be covered by a blur box but that's i mean I'm, i was going to read it regardless so yeah, you guys know what he said in the email, uh, but it's a big, ugly blur box because I don't know how to create two separate blur boxes. I need to get a new editing software. So I've been using Shotcut for years. Anyways, so Int third form Frieza, his new leader skill is Sworn Enemies 3 key and won 50% across the board. He greatly stacks attack and regularly stacks defense while doing immense damage to an enemy. He starts out with 140% attack and defense at the start of turn, and he gets 70% attack and defense while performing a super attack. Nice, of course. He also gets additional 14% attack and defense with each attack performed up to 140%, which of course is nice. He also launches two additional attacks that both have a 70% chance to come with super attack, just unrestricted. Great, of course. He also changes tech key spheres and physical key spheres to int key spheres. That is nice. And he also gets a 70% chance to dodge, a 50% chance to crit, and he gives additional support to extreme class characters, that being one key and 20% attack and defense when he collects seven int key spheres. It shouldn't be too tough for him to get seven key spheres since he's a double orb changer to one specific orb that he needs to get to get that dodge chance, that crit chance, as well as that additional support. I like the easy A. I do, because he has his defensive ability. His two additional attacks that both have a chance of coming super attack directly support him being able to build up very easily because he can do up to how many supers? Like four plus supers? And do keep in mind, if you get this guy to do four plus supers, he's greatly stacking attack and gaining... He's also stacking defense too regularly. I was about to say he's gaining a specific amount of defense while in turn, but he's not. Uh, and do keep in mind, he's getting attack and defensive buff when performing a super attack. This card... This card is mesh together well now is seven in key spheres a little steep mm, depending on the orb change like if you have like rarely any tech or physical key spheres then it could be a little shoddy for this guy because you definitely want to get those seven in key spheres absolutely you either want this guy to get his seven in key spheres or you want him to do a bunch of supers yeah that, that's like that's the thing um and just hope to god that this guy doesn't get hit by a super um so i want to do something real quick my obs is freezing oh my god i'm so sorry guys okay so what is different from the the vanilla dokkan uh part of the card to the uh the low easy that sam gave us of course shout out to sam so in the regular part of uh, this frieza he's just regularly stacking defense oh excuse me regularly stacking attack so he regularly stacks attack while gaining a defensive buff for one turn. So within uh, Sam's EZA, he greatly stacks attack and he just regularly stacks defense. Of course, that is nice. He gets 140% attack and defense to start turn. So he does double that for his EZA. And he gets an attack and defensive buff on super added to his passive, which is obviously nice. He builds up now 140% attack and defense instead of 70% attack and defense. So that is doubled. And uh, he also uh, changes this from uh, a 50% chance to launch two additional attacks to just him doing guaranteed two additional attacks that both have a 70% chance to come to super attack. So he pretty much takes away the chance of additional normals, but he just makes it into just regular normals while bumping up that of each of both of them having a 50% chance to come to super attack up to a 70% chance to come to super attack. And he also gives them obviously the, the double orb changing as well as that double orb changing basically just supporting the direct fact that this card can get up to a 70% chance to dodge or 50% chance to crit while giving additional support and he buffs up the, the sworn enemy support of the three key and 40% attack and defense inside the vanilla dokkan version up to three key and 50% attack and defense and that support in total is four key and 70% attack and defense if you are a sworn enemy extreme class ally which you're going to more than likely be because i'm pretty sure sworn enemies is all stream class characters right so he can give up to four key and 70 percent attack and defense of course in the right condition 
as well as having a 70% chance to dodge, a 50% chance to crit, double orb change to directly support that part of his card, can do up to 4 plus supers because he launches 2 additional attacks will have a 70% chance to come with super attack, which is obviously nice, builds up his attack and defense buff very easily from 14% attack and defense up to 140% of each attack performed, gets 70% attack and defense performing a super inside his passive, nice, 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 while greatly stacking attack and stacking defense. The only thing about this card on the defensive part is that you want those in key spheres you want those seven in key spheres but i think that this card should be fine should be fine you're going to be focusing this card on its orbs because you want this card to have its 70 percent chance to dodge but outside of that um outside of the, the uh, defensive liability where you, this card has to get its orbs i think looks good to me i think it looks good um although the orb changing could probably be it could probably be a problem for this card because if this card doesn't orb change and you're not putting him in slot one in slot two and slot three you gotta hope to god he does a bunch of supers so that his defense is sufficient enough for him to be able to take normal slash supers which i think it should because i did show the stats for the uh easy a card for this in third form frieza so with that being said i appreciate you guys watching you guys are the best send me custom cards over to bhdevcustomcards at gmail.com so i can read your custom card in the future i'm getting all these older custom cards out the way sam w card i mean this card is low-key on the horizon for an easy a this is a card from the worldwide down celebration of 2021 it's, it's creeping up there we're in 2024 we're almost it is august 15th as of me recording this video Okay, I got to get up out of here, guys. Uh, I love you guys, and I'll catch you guys next week. I love you all. Again, I mean, I said that twice. I'm tweaking today. Peace.